just a few skills that can show the, the listening audience things that they can do as they engage the customers that they work with to, to be more collaborative, to use this PQ mindset. Okay, I'll give you five if that's okay. <laughs> value. I want to add value. And actually, no, I want to take you through value, B-A-L-U-E, because that's the framework I use in the book to help people get their head around it. So first thing, V stands for validate. Partly this is qualification, using old sales terminology. So it's understanding what does a good opportunity look like. But what I would say is, okay, you can use your Bants or your Ments or your Scotsman's or your Medics or all the checklists that you like, but put an element of, element of psychological qualification in there. When you're thinking about, is this somebody that I'm going to invest a lot of time and effort into? It's, well, will they give us that back? Because it takes two to tango. So think about, am I going to get that back? Because actually to collaborate, you do need both parties on the same page. Now, maybe you need to sell the concept a little bit more, but if you're never going to get that back, because that's just not the way they operate, then you're potentially wasting your time massively. So validate, go after the right kind of opportunities. A of value stands for align. So align is like your homework. <laughs> you know, this is doing the sort of the research, this is doing the prep, this is really thinking about, okay, so this is an organization I think I can work with. Where can I add value? What can I help them with? How can we partner? How can we collaborate? What's that potentially going to look like? potentially and this is a mistake a lot of salespeople make is that they go right i know what it is that you're gonna to have to buy from me and in the march they start kind of dictating what it's going to be now this is your prep to think this is what i think it's going to be and then we've got to go and uncover whether that really is that or not but you're using that information in the next phase which is the l for leverage which is say leveraging the information to have a good conversation good interaction structuring those conversations well Sales conversations are a bit weird. You know, they, they've got a slightly different structure or sort of need to be formed in a bit of a cleverer way, particularly if you want to bring insight to the party. And you do want to bring insight to the party if you're a good salesperson. You're bringing things that the customer might not necessarily know or things that are going to help them think. So again, you need to think about how am I going to introduce that? What's going to help them to think differently? What can I do to get a different perspective? Good questions is often a way to do that. Hopefully this gets us to a point where we can say, oh, yeah, this looks good. We can work together here. So we move into the U of underpin. So underpin is like supporting something. It's, it's propping it up. So we need to really kind of support what it is we're saying. So it's by having a good proposal, good presentation, implementation plan, mutual action plan, outcome engagement plan, whatever you want to call those. Something that's just saying, look, this is what we could do together. This is what we have to do. This is who's going to do it, how we're going to do it, when we're going to do it by. Well, let's work towards these end goals not the close note <laughs> these end goals of you achieving these outcomes that we've said yeah and then the e stands for evolve so that's the kind so okay we're delivering on this we're doing good stuff here let's review it let's make sure we are doing what we said we do let's explore are there other ways that we can work together because hey look we're pretty good at this working together stuff Let's take the collaboration, let's co-create, let's add more value, let's do more collaboration because we know how to work together. We are partnering well. So that, that's why kind of the five that's, tips is just have a, a structured approach and think about, yeah, that, what I've described there is good selling, but just with those partnering skills, that partnering mindset, you can just add that little bit extra to it that just raise it a level and you'll do it even better. And, and I love the five, the breakdown turning value into an acronym that gets validate, alignment, leverage, underpin, and evolve. It's much like the six skills, trustable, win-win focus, interdependence, transparency, make change comfortable, and have vision. If you practice those things, I think I'm going to pick on the one big idea. And, and I think when you said it earlier, when we were talking about the six skills, make change comfortable because changing anything is traumatic. I know that when I had sales teams in the field, I would talk about change trauma. It's change trauma. And if we use that as part of our mental model, when we, we engage with our, our prospects and the, the people that we want to, to help find solutions and understand that it will be traumatic for them to move from A to Z or A to B. 
any change because it means they have to release, relinquish where they are, let go, and move into this new, brave new world that you're introducing them to. And to make that landing a soft landing and make it not traumatic, it's our responsibility, the leader that's, <clears throat> that's guiding the, the partnering and collaborating effort. You have to support them along the way. And if, you, if you've engaged them in a way that you have gained their trust, that's the first step in eliminating that change trauma. But that's not the only step because you can, it's a dicey journey and you can lose it anywhere along the way. And you have to always be listening and always be assuring and, and supporting and sharing. The next step is going to be this. It's going to require you to do that. And if we work together, we'll get there. And then you do it again and you do it again. And it's not just getting the product. If it's technology, it's very often getting the product sold is only 20% of the solution. There's 80% of the implementation that takes nine months. And it's your assuring that you minimize the trauma of them making the change is where success and raving fans come from. Thanks for joining me in this show where you shared um, gems and great nuggets that will serve the listening audience and help them understand how partnering is one of the most important skills when it comes to selling anything.